I was not expecting that ending. Hi everyone, welcome to George's Library. This is George and today we're going to talk about The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. This is the seventh and final book in the Chronicles of Narnia series. And what the final. The ending is unexpected and full of mixed emotions. The final chapters are very much layered in theological and philosophical interpretations that just add a lot of death to everything. An ape called Shift tricks a dumb donkey called Puzzle to wear a lion's skin and pretend that he's the real Aslan. It doesn't take long before the population of Narnia actually believes that he is the real Aslan and starts following the ape's orders blindly. Therefore, the talking animals are being sold into slavery and the talking trees are being cut to be sold. King Trinian asks for help and he is being joined by Eustace and Jill, the main protagonists from the Silver Chair, who are determined to reveal the real Aslan and save Narnia. I've had other book reviewers claiming that this is a direct reinterpretation of the apocalypse in the Bible. I do not claim to be an expert when it comes to biblical reinterpretations. I have not read the apocalypse in the Bible, but I am aware of it. And I indeed were able to make some recognizable connections here and there that I do not want to dwell upon. Perhaps you can point out some of them to me in the comments. The narrative creates a more serious and sad tone. The entire novel is being clouded by a feeling of ending that is being emphasized by the situation the characters are in, and by the very often reference to the old Narnian days in contrast to the present. The characters are nostalgic towards the old days and share openly their regrets of living in the present days. That feeling is ultimately transferred to the reader as he progresses through the story. Finding myself at the end of the series, I can only conclude that the Chronicles of Narnia are definitely worth your time. I do recommend you to read them in their chronological order as they were structured by the author and as they were presented by myself in my videos. The Chronicles of Narnia is the story of a land, the story of its beginnings and its endings, and the characters that were involved in the most crucial times in that land's history. I believe they are more effective if you read them all at once as a full series of books rather than separately. But either way, don't refuse yourself the chance to visit and explore the magic that comes with these books. If you like my reviews and if you want to discover more books within my library, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. I can't wait to see you again next week. Stay safe and keep on reading. See you next time.